Libra, oh Libra, what's popping? What's going on in the life of a Libra from the 18th to the 31st of August? <laughs> Y'all healing situations or you living in your past? Or you jumping over hurdles to get out your head about your past? <laughs> This will be for my sun, moon, rising, as well as Venus and the cross watchers for the sign of Libra between the 18th and the 31st of August. If this is your first time viewing my channel, hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Uh, to all of my current subscribers, thank you so much for the likes, the shares, the love, the comments. Y'all read every comment, and I really appreciate it, okay? To the new subscribers, welcome to the family, baby. All right, we don't fuss, we don't fight, we don't do all of that. We do cuss a little, all right? We definitely uplift. We definitely enlighten and we definitely evolve around here, okay? We share, we love one another, and that's what we do on this channel, all right? We are soul family. So, this is not a personal, it's a general. If you do need a personal, I do have a special one on until the 20th for a $40 30 minute reading, okay? I am ending it on the 20th because I'm extending it three times. So, it's definitely ending on the 20th, all right? So, y'all get y'all reading special in, all right? Um, also, um, I think that's all I got for Libras right now as far as announcements. So let's rock it, all right? So we rocking. The first message comes from the Crystal Angel Oracle Cards from Doreen Virtue. You guys, this message that wanted to come out was Titanium Rainbow Quartz. Multifaceted. There are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person that you're asking about. Okay. This, I'm sorry, the person or situation that you're asking about is multifaceted, like a gemstone. That means that there are many different sides to consider. There isn't one plain truth here, but several, which could create contradictions, inconsistencies, and confusion. You need to be honest with yourself about whether these differences are acceptable or upsetting to you. If you're asking about a certain person, this card is a sign of a complicated and unpredictable relationship. Some may consider this exciting, while others find it to contain too much drama. Most people have layers to them, and as long as the other person is behaving ethically and with integrity, you may benefit from the relationship. Again, it's a matter of being dishonest about your likes and dislikes. If your question is about a specific situation, this card is a sign that there is no single right answer. Sometimes this is because free will choices are currently shaping the outcome, and nothing has been predetermined. In some cases, this card means that, that, that it's up for interpretation whether or not this is a positive situation according to individual tastes and preferences. All in all, being comfortable with ambiguity and an undetermined future is an opportunity for you to be the director of your own unfolding movie masterpiece. You may be, I'm sorry, you were made in the image and likeness of the creator. So you can create a wonderful present and future. Watch your thoughts, leave where you know y'all the skills, manifestation, watch your thoughts. Okay, some of y'all during this time... Some of y'all definitely got a Sagittarius want to come back and um, put in the work, okay? If this is not a Sagittarius, somebody who you've been dealing with for about eight months, eight years, eight weeks, this person has hurt you in the past, okay? But I feel like it is a perspective thing on how you look at it because I feel like this person definitely needs to heal deeper. Uh, well, they have roots about them that you really don't know about. Some of them, they have deep father issues. Maybe they had a very cutting father and how the way that they did things. Some of them, I'm feeling a very... It's a condescending energy, but it has to do with control as well. It's like, you know, I'll do this for you if you with me or I'll do this like somebody is handling y'all like this during this time. And some of y'all are needing to make the decision on if I'm going to live in this live in this past space and continuously deal with this shit and allow myself to continuously go through this damn cycle. Am I going to jump off the karmic wheel? Take the enlightenment from the situation. OK, I'm not going to continuously allow this person to literally feed me out the palm of their damn hands just to stab me in minds later when I take it, okay? I'm just going to move on. I'm going I'm, to I'm move it forward. Some of y'all third eye during this time is going to be booming and blooming. Some of y'all are kind of living in your thoughts during this time. Some of y'all are kind of balancing out those negative and those positive thoughts, but I feel like the negative thoughts are coming from a remorseful energy. Well, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Somebody really played a number on Libra. Somebody has had y'all mind in the past gone, and I mean that. Like, gone to the point where you were questioning yourself well am i beautiful am i okay like am i good enough to move on or somebody else gonna take me or you about the best thing i can rock, rock and roll with I, I feel like during this time a lot of y'all are balancing y'all self back out y'all walking back into y'all power y'all heart chakra will be expanding during this time that's gonna allow y'all to bring 
balance to yourselves also. Some of y'all, crown chakra is on fire. The dreams. Your dreams during this time. Spirit says, please trust your dreams. Some of y'all are going to be going. For those of you who are, are, are trying to go back to school to uh, be prosperous, okay, as far as career goes, I do see that being successful, okay, you are going to be able to get in school as far as the deadline between this time and the end of the month, somebody, I'm speaking of a few people, Spirit said that, that was actually waiting on that, so you, you, you're you going to get your paperwork back that's going to let you know, okay, yeah, you got the green light, so congratulations, sis, bro, definitely, I'm with enlightening your mind, educational hallucination, okay, so I, I will say uh, some of y'all with your third eye opening, with you going through this awakening, some of y'all are definitely going to be enlightening yourself. Some of y'all are mystics. OK, some of y'all are um, tarot readers. Some of y'all do spiritual healing. OK, some of y'all are definitely learning how to unlock your powers during this time. Unlock your gifts. All right. Um, Some of y'all are working magic on somebody or having somebody work magic or teaching you how to work how to uh, maybe perform spells or you're learning new spells, but this is definitely having to do with some sort of esoteric knowledge, okay, during this time. All right, Libra, like I said, some of y'all have a Sagittarius that wants to come in. This person, because they've hurt you so many times in the past, you like hell to the no, okay, but there's something that you have to learn from with this person. I feel like in the past, this person and yourself didn't have a solid foundation, okay. Uh, for some of y'all, this is a Leo. OK, but I feel like this person possibly cut you off or during this time, you're going to cut them off and actually walk into your own strength because you feel this person makes you feel in the past, tried to make you feel weak as if you couldn't do it without them or you needed them to do something or you needed them to move forward during this time. I feel like some of y'all have been stagnant in a situation. Some of y'all have definitely uh, been kind of for those of you who've been stagnant and not able, not working. During this time, y'all are going to be finding new jobs. Congratulations. Okay, I do see new job energy coming in. But I also see a Sagittarius trying to work something out. I see a Leo that's trying to balance out a situation, okay, and bring change to it. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with your twin flame, and you and your twin flame are both going through some sort of awakening. And one of y'all are in y'all damn thoughts, okay? This light energy is actually learning this esoteric knowledge. Whoever is living in this dark, this energy, this this, this darkness, okay, this person has to, if they left you in the past, this person has lessons that they have to hurdle over, but they keep sweeping them damn lessons up under a rug. The universe is not playing with their ass at this point, period. Point blank, Libra, if this is you, you might want to get your life, okay? If this is not you, don't worry about it. Keep on the path that you want, okay? But a lot of y'all during this time are working on the aligning, Aligning your chakras. The spirit is needing you to be centered. Spirit, please show me the messages. Now it's the 31st of August. Yeah, some of y'all have new love water signs. Okay. This person is coming in to help you balance yourself out, help you walk yourself through the dark, help you walk through the darkness. This person is coming through, baby. This is this is loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. This person may be younger than you, but they're coming in to offer you love. And you stuck on someone or stuck on a situation in, in the thoughts that's not working for you. You feel stuck or stagnant. You kind of feel trapped. Some of y'all are, um, some of y'all have the mother or the father of your child uh, coming back. Maybe they weren't given to you in the past during this time. They want to offer that reciprocity because I feel like in the past it wasn't an equal give and take. Some of y'all were given to someone financially, okay, who was actually continuously putting you in third party situations. A lot of y'all are not having that. Some of y'all are going to be receiving, um, let me see. Some of y'all are going to be receiving, um, yeah, some of y'all, the mother or the father of your child wants to make an offer, okay? They want to balance the scales out, Libra. If you guys have been manis uh, manifesting a family situation back, you finna get it, okay? Which is why I say watch your thoughts. But some of y'all, y'all have a fire sign, okay, uh, that's coming in during this time. Aries, Leo, Sag. This person is very passionate about you, okay? But I feel like this person has third-party energy as far as putting you in a third party with a water sign and an air sign, okay? But this person is coming in, and they're trying to make an offer to you. Some of y'all definitely are dealing with the sign of Taurus. During this time, some of y'all are going to be getting promotions. During this time, if you own your own business, <sighs> promote yourself. Promote yourself. Present yourself in a way that is marketable, okay? Because if I do see if you own your own business during this time, your business is going to be booming. 
Some of y'all want to turn around a situation with a Taurus, okay? Some of y'all want to work it out and start something new with the Leo, but there are secrets that still have to be uh, revealed, things that still need to be, uh, things that are hidden, okay, that's going to come to the surface. Some of y'all definitely have a sneaky Scorpio in y'all energy, and I feel like you haven't to have strength with this person because you know that there's a third-party situation, but I feel like some of y'all feel like when you think about it or your intuition tells you this stuff, some of y'all let this person make you feel like, man, you just tripping. Nobody just trips. You just tripping and you didn't fall? Sis, what, 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 where they do that at? Cause see, I'm from the South. I don't play that shit. No, we, I ain't tripping. If I felt it, I felt it for a reason. Libra, if you felt it, you felt it for a reason. Trust yourself first, always, in what you felt. Y'all have a natural placement within the star alignment between the heavens and the earth, midheaven, baby, because y'all balance out the skills. You have to be centered. Trust what you felt the first time. Respect the God in you, babe. Sun. Spirit, why the sun card here, Libra? Yeah, some of y'all, somebody wants a possibly a Leo or another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person wants to start over with you, Leo, strong Leo. Uh, Leo, this person wants to come in and make you an offer. They want to fix things, okay? And some of y'all don't trust them, okay? For some of y'all, this person, there's a lesson that they have to teach you, all right? Some of y'all want to come in and um, turn a situation around with an Aries. I feel like. You feel like you have every resource that you need, okay, with everything that you've gone through in your past, all right? Some of y'all have someone that you're dealing with now that has an Aries or uh, an Aries from the past that they're possibly going to be going to go fix something with. I do see that energy, that change is going to be coming possibly to some type of family dynamic, okay? So some of y'all could also be... Um, Accepting another child like an outside child. Somebody in your energy could be finding out that they have another child and some of y'all could be receiving um, another baby in the family. All right. Change is good. Don't look at it in a negative situation. Don't look at it from a negative aspect. Look at it from a very positive one. Some of y'all are having patience in a family situation. OK, you definitely this person wants to start over. I feel like this is an earth energy. Capricorn towards Virgo. This person wants to start over in love with you. And some of y'all are being patient. I feel like this is the mother or the father of your child as well. Uh, some of y'all are pregnant by this person. All right. Some of y'all, you have a Pisces. They won't go no damn well. Um, this person could also be the mother or the father of your children. But this person, do they want to keep it? They want to fix it. This person has to heal themselves from this three-party energy, though, because I feel like this is another one I'm talking about, as well as that damn Leo three-party energy. Some of y'all have somebody holding on to y'all for dear life. Somebody, somebody, some of y'all have an earth sign that you offer in love to. This person is pretending. Y'all finna find that out um, during this time. They only holding on to you for money. You finna find that out. Some of y'all are kind of in y'all head about a Scorpio or a Virgo. Okay? I feel like during this time, a lot of y'all are going to be walking away from a Virgo. And this could be that earth sign holding on to you for money. But yeah, some of y'all definitely walking away from my earth sign. You're going through a transformation. You're kind of going to walk away from a lot of people, places, and things and kind of reflect. This is a very reflective and healing time, all right? Some of y'all have a Capricorn from the past, all right? This person wants to continuously live in the past. They want to live in the past. Some of y'all have somebody literally holding on to you kind of playing the emotional manipulation game, all right, but it has to do with finances, okay? They feel like there's not enough equal give and take. Some of y'all have a Capricorn that needs to learn how to balance out work and family, and I feel like some of y'all ain't forgetting shit. Remember that time you didn't make it to the kids' play because you was getting some money? Well, I, I, I'm still mad about, look here, if this person is trying to start over and offer, don't be, be, be more optimistic, my babies, okay? Some of y'all have a water sign that you have a family with. Strong vibes, strong Scorpio vibes, also strong, um, strong damage, strong Pisces vibes. All right. I do see um, here. I just see that outside baby. Somebody could have walked away or did something sneaky. And you, this person was like, no, I ain't put you in no third party energy. I don't deal with that person, that water sign from my past, or that fire sign from my past that I'm seeing right here. But um, a baby came out the mix. So some of y'all can find that out. Some of y'all have a fire sign that you're being defensive towards. Aries, Leo, Sag. 
You're being defensive towards this person because you feel like the only thing they want to do is have sex with you. So some of y'all putting y'all foot down, hell no. Some of y'all are cutting off a of Sagittarius during this time or some type of change that change in the dynamic is coming. Dealing with a dealing with a situation with the Sagittarius. All right. Some of y'all had an air sign in the past or possibly a Leo move away from you um, to possibly deal with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or possibly in Aries, y'all, and you're having strength during this during this time because a lot of y'all are questioning, like, well, what about me? Like, what did I do? Okay, or what? Nothing's wrong with you. You didn't do anything. This person has to grow just like you have to grow. And unfortunately, some of them are not mature enough to grow with you on your journey. Some of them just can't go because that that path is too damn narrow. All right. So I do see during this time, some of y'all are just gonna be focusing on getting your money. Focusing on work. Some of y'all are working on something new. For some of those of you who are starting your new businesses, good shit. Some of y'all are starting over with a tourist. Some of y'all are starting over with your marriages. I feel like somebody was out the door being defensive. That shit, y'all finna stop it. I feel like there's one last communication that needs to be had because there is no, there's not a lot of swords in here. There's not, y'all not talking about what's going on. You, A person is not a mind reader. I feel like the defensiveness in a relationship definitely comes from conversations that need to be had, real truth, and asking the right questions because some of y'all just want y'all family dynamic to go straight. Some of y'all are definitely in your head about the family the family dynamic and the things that was done in the past, said in the past. And I feel like if you're going to live in the past, then you're going to create that energy that is, that came from the past. But if you're willing to move forward in an optimistic way, Okay, and just totally just balance the scales out. That's what y'all bring. You bring the beauty to things. Okay, balance the scales out. All right, it's how it's not what happened, but how you look at it. What did you learn from it, and how did it make you grow? But things will definitely be revealed, especially regarding a Scorpio, a Pisces, a Earth sign. Pretty much everybody's in the building in the Leo. Okay, um, I love y'all very much. This is what I have for y'all. Um, between this mid month of the 18th to the 31st of August, um, I will catch y'all back in September. And if you need that personal, hit me up. Love y'all. Bye, babies.